Hello and welcome to another Void XRC video. Thanks for tuning in. So today I've got a few more upgrades in for the FireU that we're going to take a look at. But first, I uh, just want you guys' opinion. I've had this light bar sitting in my parts bin for quite a while. And since the one that I had actually ordered for the FireU has not come in yet, I have no idea when or if or what. I was thinking, well, maybe this will look good on here. And I just can't really decide if it does look good or not. It sort of looks okay, I think. I'm just not really sure if I like it that much. So if you guys want to let me know in the comments what you think, if it looks good or if I need to paint it or whatever I would need to do to make it look good, if it will look good, uh, just let me know. That would be much appreciated. So let's have a look at a couple more of the upgrades that I finally received. There's only actually just three of them. It was the rear suspension arms here, these brackets, and the aluminum hex hubs. Let's get started with the aluminum hex hubs. So they do actually make your wheel sit a little further off or out. As you can see in the, um, in the wheel nut there, the um, axle doesn't come all the way out to the um, locking part on the nut there. So I've had to use thread locker. Uh, now these are wider wheels than normal. So I haven't tested it with just the normal stock wheels. Let's just go ahead and actually do that right now and see how they fit on there. Let's take this back one wheel off here. And I gotta get the hex hub out of it. Come on. Yep. That could use a little cleanup, it looks like. Looking pretty dirty there. I guess that most mostly be from the wheel. It doesn't want to come off too well. Anyways, let's get this back on there. So as you can see, when you do put the hex hub on there, if it'll focus, as you can see, it does leave a good little gap there. It does not go on any further. So here's a stock fire wheel. So I think with the stock wheels, you would not need to put thread locker on most likely. You gotta think the locking nut will go on far enough, but we'll find out in a second here. Yes, the locking nut does appear to go far enough to get to actually use the lock nut. So if you're just running stock wheels and you're running the aluminum hex hubs, you probably don't need to thread lock the ends of them here. However, if you're running wheels that are any thicker, I would definitely recommend using um, thread lock, otherwise you will most likely lose the lock nuts when you're driving around, which is no fun. I've had that happen once or twice. Let's get that back on there. Where's my thread locker? All right, so let's have a look at a couple of the other pieces that I finally got in. So when I first got these pieces all together, it seemed like there's a little bit much, um, the fitment isn't that good, as you can see here. It's got a little bit of a rock back and forth, and you can hear definitely. So I wasn't too happy because it seemed like it was a fair amount of movement. However, with all these original stock pieces here, it does have a slight movement too. <laughs> Excuse me. So I don't really think it's that much worse. Although it definitely sounds a lot worse. If I can get, let me see if I can get a close up here. 
if you look you can see there's a little gap on all of these whereas on the original stock pieces the fitment is much better there's no gap on any of these pieces at all same back here there's no gap or with the upgraded pieces <clears throat> they all get gaps on the side as you can see so it might be a good idea to shim them so that way you don't get so much movement oh one other thing the turn buckles so if you've seen my early videos on these upgrades you would know that once I put on these aluminum steering components my front, both my front wheels instead of being straight they were both cocked out outwards so I ended up actually using the stock links back here cut them down drilled some holes in them and used the threaded rod to make my own so I can adjust them and you'll probably notice this one has a lot more thread showing than this one over here that's, I made these ones first and I decided I didn't leave quite enough plastic so I cut these ones a little longer and I should have done that with these but this should hold up fine too I think so there you go so now, um, if you need to do that it's very easy just get a bit of threaded rod and you can reuse the plastic links that come with it back here if you've upgraded them to, to the aluminum ones to make your turn buckles so that's um, fairly easy to do just need a, you know, a little hand drill and, that, and a saw to cut them and that's about it so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.